my poem dangerous world situation dedicated to universal consciousness my fellow world citizens our world never faced such dangerous situation as the nobel prize for peace defied wars against other kind with aggression gave free license to attack countries for colonization where un security council consists of mostly old warring nations possessing massive weapons of mass destruction including nuclear biological and electromagnetic radiation at the mercy of out of control military run by private corporations even france has been reembracing colonial vision germany rejuvenating with nazi ambition australia is out of non alliance for supremacist zion canada is extending support towards illegal allied invasion italy is back on stage with fascist manifestation russia is embracing oligarchy void of soviet union peace prize giving norway develop gigantic space hitting weapon capable of worldwide selective traceless destruction and annihilation destroying atmosphere for deadly weather control leading to tsunami earthquake drought and mass starvation european union is reinforcing zionist mission monopolizing world resources politics and religion empowering and expanding nato for endless military action Vatican and Holy See setting agenda at the United Nations, endangering democratic secularism and state religion separation, encouraging religious racism by divisions and isolations, solidifying religious groupism as Young Men Christian Association, Young Women Christian Association claiming World Youth Day as Anglicized Catholic celebration, Jesuits as soldiers of Jesus, lay Jews. for evangelization not messengers of love preached by yeshua of canaan even red cross profiting from calamities and destruction evangelic nasa scaring citizens with end of the world prediction world health organization exaggerating pandemic preemption biotech baxter sent live avian virus to 18 destinations international court using flawed biased war crime definition parisian like prizes encouraging worldwide journalistic prostitution scholars and academics numbed by colonizing funds and recognitions friendly fires mostly killing true patriots against domination without 911 investigation felons running government intelligence and military operations covert intelligence and mercenaries creating false revolutions inviting more us nato destruction and militarization swiss bank and offshore banks hiding monarchical corruptions new israel fund is promoting the united kingdom who are pope and queen jointly rule all nations exposing second coming of christ is not a holy union a final crusade of barbarism belittling past crusaders like alexander caesar constantine pope urban ii and hitler poems by kolke a few definitions before reading the poem or listening to the poem jesus jesus is lay zeus hail jews ancient and modern hebrew doesn't have letter j which appeared in english only after 16th century thus zu zisas judaism jacob john are all foreign to the land of canaan now palestine a hebrew state would live peacefully respecting ancient semite brotherhood and sisterhood bible forgets to address the non semite alexandria invasion of canaan inflicting massive casualty on the locals destruction of their culture and modifications of existing scriptures as well as triggering endless diaspora of the remaining semites zion is church israel is church head of church of england is the queen zionism is racism and jews are anti semites why let us hear jews godfather 
Theodor Herzl, founder of modern Jainism in 1897. Quote, it is essential that the sufferings of Jews become worse. This will assist in realization of our plans. I have an excellent idea. I shall induce anti-Semites to liquidate Jewish wealth. The anti-Semites will assist us thereby in that they will strengthen the persecution and oppression of Jews. The anti-Semites shall be our best friends." Unquote. From Herzl's diary. Notes. He meant ancient Hebrews settled throughout the once borderless world before the advent of colonialism. Hebrew language doesn't have letter J. Thus the word Zu, which resembled Zeus, was coined to separate all true secular Semites, ancient people on earth, by the evangelical anti-Semites of the Macedonian invader Alexander. The same way British has coined Hindu on the secular Indians after occupation to divide and conquer. There is no white supremacy. It's all Jainist supremacy. Quote, I contend that we are the first race in the world and that the more of the world we inhabit, the better it is for the human race. If there be a God, I think that he would like me to do is paint as much of the map of Africa British red as possible. Unquote. And the Cecil Rhodes, who advocated the British Empire re-annexing the United States of America and reforming itself into an imperial federation to bring about a hyperpower. Now the question is, what is really happening terrorizing the world with virtual Al-Qaeda and ISIS and related war on terror, which I call war of terror? Let us read the British plan of taking over the world, including USA. Quote, to and for the establishment, promotion, and development of a secret society, the true aim and object whereof shall be for the extension of the British rule throughout the world, the perfecting of a system of emigration from the United Kingdom, and of colonization by British subjects of all lands where the means of livelihood are attainable by energy, labor, and enterprise, and especially the occupation by British settlers of the entire continent of Africa, the Holy Land, the Valley of the Euphrates, the islands of Cyprus and Candia, the whole of South America, the islands of the Pacific not heretofore possessed by Great Britain, the whole of Malay Archipelago, the seaboard of China and Japan, the ultimate recovery of the United States of America as an integral part of the British Empire." Unquote. And that's again Cecil Rhodes, diamond and gold businessman. Rhodes and his friend, partner Alfred Milner, were openly racists, co-founded Rhodes Scholarships in Oxford University. They were in Africa not to live with and appreciate natives and lands, but to steal their diamonds and golds, destroying their pristine natural lifestyles, enslaving them, and killing in hundreds of thousands with total disrespect of native people, culture, and their natural human rights. And what do they, the big kids, learn in Oxford? The kindergarten was composed of graduates from Oxford, all cut from the same swath of cloth, all forged from the same imperialistic, racist, elitist vision of Britain's dominance of the world. Following their leaders, Rhodes and Milner, they all set up shop in South Africa, helping Milner to spread British rule, what they call an imperial federation of the British Empire. It was Curtis that was most obsessed with not only British imperialism and white Aryan race superiority. He also envisioned a one-world government run by the elite chosen few. And now let us hear Henry Kissinger, who dropped massive chemical weapon on Vietnam and Cambodia. Quote, if you can't hear the drums of war, you must be deaf, unquote. And same Henry Kissinger, 
quote, control oil and you control nations, control food and you control the people, unquote. The question is, why control? And who are you to control? Now the question is, who are controlling the military? Again, quote from Mr. Kissinger, quote, we told the military that we have to take over seven Middle Eastern countries for their resources, and they have nearly completed their job. We all know what I think of the military, but I have to say they have obeyed orders superfluously this time. It is just that last taping stone, that is Iran, which will really tip the balance. How long can China and Russia stand by and watch America clean up? The great Russian bear and Chinese sickle will be roused from their slumber, and this is when Israel will have to fight with all its might and weapons to kill as many Arabs as it can. Hopefully, if all goes well, half of the Middle East will be Israeli." Unquote. And next question is, why peace prize giving Norway would be part of high-tech traceless terrorism around the world? Harp, New World Order, Mind Control, and Weather Warfare Weapon. Now, why West is becoming so violent, both militarily and covertly? Imagine if Hitler was made European envoy after World War II, a related Holocaust, like UK's Blair has been made Middle East envoy after illegal invasion of Iraq, destroying ancient civilization, killing millions, and displacing millions, insulting UN, World Court, and all democratic institutions, as well as citizens of the world. Ways doesn't punish their war criminals. They interview them and then promote them. That's why Western military covert intelligence getting so violent day by day. Do we need to send kids for history lessons anymore? If we let 9-11 military coup go down in history as the work of Himalayan cave dweller, diabetic patient Osama Bin Laden, food for thought for all world citizens. Last but not least, isn't existence of the Cofort Swiss Bank make Switzerland the most corrupt country on earth? Corrupting others, including United Nations, Red Cross, and Vatican, using covert intelligences, Superior General of Holy See and SMOM, Zionist soldiers of Jesus. How to get out of it? When religions coexist, leaders communicate, Media respect neutrality, laws not blinded by immunity, citizens need take precedence over profitability, peace becomes reality, war lives in harmony, appreciating human rights, celebrating cultural plurality. God bless our world for universal consciousness toward peace and harmony.